If you're thinking about moving to New Hampshire, there are some things you need to know. This is the Live Free or Die State. Live Free or Die. Do you know how they came up with that motto? No, I don't. General John Stark was in poor health and they were having a reunion of combatants, of people that were in a battle. And he couldn't make it, so he wrote a letter and said, live free or die. Death is not the worst of all evils. But live free or die is the best motto in the country. Although Virginia is for lovers. <laughs> I think they might have a better motto, but. I still like New Hampshire's best. Yeah, so New Hampshire, I don't know if it's part of the live free or die motto, but they don't require seatbelts motorcycle helmets, or car insurance. Unless you're under 18. So, that's a little questionable. Yes, I do, I do think that insurance should be required. I think that, you know, I think that's a given. Seatbelts and helmets, as I get older, I agree with them. I wear my seatbelt all the time, and I wear my helmet all the time. I get wiser as I get older. Speaking of car registration, it is done a little differently here in New Hampshire than in states, say, like Massachusetts. In New Hampshire, when you first register your car, you go to town hall, pay your taxes, live for your day, tax-free state. You pay, you pay your taxes, you register your vehicle, you then have 10 days to inspect your car. From that point, your registration is due every year on your birth month as well as the inspection. Yes, and in Massachusetts it's done a little differently. When you purchase the vehicle, you pay your taxes, you have your car inspected, and you pay your registration, and it's due on the same month every year. So it all depends on when you bought your vehicle. And talking about that, when you're buying your vehicle, that's even different in New Hampshire and Massachusetts. If you're a New Hampshire resident, and you go to a New Hampshire dealership and buy a car, you leave with your car and a packet of paper that you can take to the town hall and register your vehicle. If you are a New Hampshire resident and buy a vehicle in Massachusetts, you may have to wait a couple of days because that dealership has to bring the car to your town hall, meet you, and transfer ownership at the town hall. And from my experience, if you are moving from Massachusetts to New Hampshire, you're gonna have an easier time um, at the DMV. DMV in New Hampshire is a lot different. Depends on where you live. So. The benefit to New Hampshire is many of the town halls now are a DMV substation. So you can get plates, you can do everything except get your license um, at the town hall. You can get your plates, register your vehicle, take care of all that right there. And in most places you get service with a smile here in New Hampshire. Yes, <laughs> especially Palo. I love the people in Palo, they're super friendly. So let's talk a little bit about the cost of living. Now this is very broad and kind of generic. But we hear a lot of complaints everywhere about the cost of groceries and the cost of groceries here in New Hampshire as opposed to Massachusetts are about 15% less. And it still hurts every time I go grocery shopping. It doesn't matter it does, where you live. It doesn't feel like it's 15% less. It feels like it's 15,000% more uh, with this inflation, so. That's my only rant regarding this video in 2023. I'm gonna hold you to that. Housing in New Hampshire is also cheaper. When we looked and we did some research online, it's about 25% cheaper to buy and live in a home in New Hampshire. And in the past, most people moving from Massachusetts to New Hampshire hesitated because of the property taxes. But as of right now, Massachusetts property taxes are slightly higher. And the difference of how that's paid. So New Hampshire property taxes are paid on July 1st and December 1st. And that is three months in arrears, three months forward. So when you pay your December 1st tax bill, that covers October 1st through March 31st. So if you're selling or buying a home in that time frame, there's gonna be some prorations depending on where you fall in that time period. 
And in Massachusetts, property taxes are paid quarterly. So four times a year, you would pay your property taxes. And same thing when you're um, selling your property, it's prorated. So it's probably a little less confusing in Massachusetts. That's yes. probably a plus. I still pick New Hampshire. How do taxes affect your retirement in New Hampshire? In New Hampshire, there is no income tax on your retirement. As opposed to Massachusetts, there would be a tax on your retirement income. So if you were to retire in one of the states, New Hampshire would be the place to go. Yes, there are a few states that are really great as far as retirement in New Hampshire is one of them. There's a major airport in Massachusetts. There's a major airport in New Hampshire. New Hampshire in the Manchester airport, which is actually in Londonderry, as if you couldn't confuse us anymore, easy in, easy out. Several flights, Southwest, United, Delta, several flights to go all over. So it's very easy to get into and out of, as opposed to Boston. Yes, Logan Airport, especially right now with all the construction, is very difficult to get in and out of. So let me explain a little bit about how that works. So they're gonna pick the busy times when people go to the airport and they're gonna close the tunnel. And then you gotta go around, and then when you get in there, the whole complex is under construction. So you gotta go in a tunnel to come out to go over a bridge over here to walk through a tunnel to get over to C, but you need to be in B, but you can't get to B because the police are directing you over here that they put a stoplight around the construction and get you to come around. Then you get lost, only realize you're in the cell phone lot next to the hotel, you gotta get back around. It is good. Fly out of Manchester if you can. That's rant number two. I think he said he wasn't going to rant anymore, but he lied. I lied. <laughs> so on that note, before I rant anymore, I'm Kevin. And I'm Danielle. And we're the Coop Group Home Team. If you have questions about moving to New Hampshire, give us a call, shoot us an email. We'd love to help. Take care.